mineral wool, also known as mineral fiber, mineral fiber, rock wool, rock wool, stone wool, man-made mineral fiber, and man-made vitreous fiber, is a name for fiber materials that are formed by spinning or drawing molten minerals. Completely man-made fibers include glass wool and ceramic fiber. Industrial applications of mineral wool include thermal insulation, filtration, soundproofing, and hydroponic growth medium. History Slag wool was first made in 1840 in Wales by Edward Purry, but no effort appears to have been made to confine the wool after production. Consequently it floated about the works with the slightest breeze, and became so injurious to the men that the process had to be abandoned. It was first produced commercially in 1871 at Georgsmar in Haar 1 quarter TTE in Osnabla 1 quarter CK Germany. Manufacture Stone wool is a furnace product of molten rock at a temperature of about 1600 a degree Celsius, through which a stream of air or steam is blown. More advanced production techniques are based on spinning molten rock in high speed spinning heads, somewhat like the process used to produce cotton candy. The final product is a mass of fine, intertwined fibers with a typical diameter of 6 to 10 micrometers. Mineral wool may contain a binder, often food grade starch, and an oil to reduce dust production. Usage Though the individual fibers conduct heat very well, when pressed into rolls and sheets, their ability to partition air makes them excellent heat insulators and sound absorbers. Though not immune to the effects of a sufficiently hot fire, the fire resistance of fiberglass, stone wool, and ceramic fibers makes them common building materials when passive fire protection is required, being used as spray fireproofing, in stud cavities and drywall assemblies and as packing materials in fire stops. Mineral wools are unattractive to rodents, but will provide a structure for bacterial growth if allowed to become wet. Other uses are in resin bonded panels, as filler in compounds for gaskets, in brake pads, in plastics in the automotive industry as a filtering medium, and as a growth medium in hydroponics. Mineral fibers are produced in the same way, without binder. The fiber as such is used as a raw material for its reinforcing purposes in various applications, such as friction materials, gaskets, plastics, and coatings. The heat the material can withstand is. In hydroponics, Mineral wool products can hold large quantities of water and air that aid root growth and nutrient uptake in hydroponics. Their fibrous nature also provides a good mechanical structure to hold the plant stable. The naturally high pH of mineral wool makes them initially unsuitable to plant growth and requires conditioning to produce a wool with an appropriate, stable pH. Safety of material, precautions need to be taken when handling a fiber product, as it can irritate the eyes skin, and respiratory tract. This irritation to the skin is not a chemical irritation, but only a mechanical irritation, comparable with exposure of the skin to biosoluble materials such as straw, grass, or hay. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has reviewed the carcinogenicity of man-made mineral fibers in October 2002. The IARC monographs working group concluded only the more biopersistent materials remain classified by IARC as possibly carcinogenic to humans. These include refractory ceramic fibers, which are used industrially as insulation in high temperature environments such as blast furnaces, and certain special purpose glass walls not used as insulating materials. In contrast, the more commonly used vitreous fiber walls, including insulation glass wool, stone wool, and slag wool, are considered not classifiable as to carcinogenicity in humans. High biosoluble fibers are produced that do not cause damage to the human cell. These newer materials have been tested for carcinogenicity and most are found to be non-carcinogenic, or to cause tumors in experimental animals only under very restricted conditions of exposure. The IARC Monographs Working Group elected not to make an overall evaluation of the newly developed fibers designed to be less biopersistent such as the alkaline earth silicate or high alumina, low silica walls. This decision was made in part because no human data were available, although such fibers that have been tested appear to have low carcinogenic potential in experimental animals, and because the working group had difficulty in categorizing these fibers into meaningful groups based on chemical composition. 
See also, risk and safety statements, basalt fiber, a mineral fiber having high tensile strength, asbestos, a mineral that is naturally fibrous, references. External links, Statistics Canada documents on shipments of mineral wool in Canada, review of published data on exposure to mineral wool during installation work by A. Jones and A. Sanchez Jimenez, Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM01, Assessment of Airborne Mineral Wool Fibers in Domestic Houses by J. Dodgson and others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM18.